This is a very complex question, but um, I'll, I'll try to distill it down to a few uh, rules of uh, thumb that, that I use. Um, um, I have not empirically investigated all of them, but they are based on a, an emerging body of, of, of evidence. I think headlines are, are really important, the framing of headlines. So the psychology of framing is such that when titles are framed in a way that tailor to what we already believe or are meant to put us in a certain uh, ideological or political position um, or greatly exaggerate a particular truth, um, they get to people because that's the way to grab people's attention. But it's also one of the best ways to try to spot fake news. If it sounds too ridiculous to be true, as some of the examples you've shown, it's probably false, um, right? Um, so I think. The framing, um, um, uh, this also goes with an ideological flavor. If it's, if it's framed to make you feel um, particularly strong emotionally, you should be skeptical about what the communicator is trying to elicit from you. Um, two, I think what, what really what lots of fake news articles have in common is uh, a lack of a credible source. Is there a source that can be verified easily um, or is the source lacking that includes use of fake experts, what we call fake experts, people that are not experts, but are providing a view to make it sound more credible. So for example, um, you know, uh, a sci you know, an atmospheric scientist telling you what's good for your health, um, for example, you know, but, but because he has a PhD, it sounds impressive. So, so fake experts are another um, really important one. And then, you know, I think the, the time it takes for you to agree with an article, sort of the, the reaction time, if, if you feel that you agree with something completely, almost instantaneously, then you should question, um, again, what the article is trying to achieve. Because good articles often take time to read and, and reflect on. Um, and so if it's, if it's meant to, to put you in a certain position, that's really important. Um, and then ultimately, I think two factors that, are, that could be really useful in all of this is to identify the political bias of a news outlet, because all news outlets have political biases, and that's, that's totally fine. Um, they're on a spectrum. Some are center-left, center-right, far-right, far-left. Um, there's a site called Media Bias Fact Check, for example, puts the BBC center-left, um, um, which is, you know, which, which, is, which is fine. Um, and then it also has an accuracy rating. How often has the news outlet said something that's, that's inaccurate? Um, so BBC has extremely high accuracy, whereas other news outlets, for example, the Daily Mail in the UK, have very, very low accuracy. So I think when you see something from a news outlet, it's important to identify up front what's the political flavor, so I know what's coming, and how accurate is this news outlet in general, as, as just some simple rules of thumb that we can implement without a deep, complex investigation. Hopefully, hopefully that helps.